SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we've got an update out of Dish. It's a really bad one. Something that I knew was coming, and I spoke on it on several occasions. And if you guys ever listen to my commentary videos and my updates of what goes on at these companies, I always shoot you straight. I don't hold back. I don't, you know, candy coat anything. I like to put the gravity to it when it when it's needed. So this is no different, right? This is this video. Uh, we'll be covering something that's tough and, and because it's going to harm a lot of people. All right. So Dish has confirmed layoffs at the company. And, you know, let's let's talk about the scale, how many people this impacts and what it means for them moving forward. All right. Link for the article from Dano, light reading. Uh, shout out to Randall Jr. We always appreciate his articles. Uh, but I will let you guys know I did. I did have this info before he did. And that happens a lot. You know, your boy does seem to have some pretty good contacts. They're batting a thousand and they're shooting me straight and they're they're giving me all the info we need to know what's going on in the industry. If you guys want to follow me on X where I made this announcement about a week or two ago, you know, maybe check it out there. Uh, my handle will be in the description. Uh, and of course, ways to support the SMT also in the description. All right. So Dish has confirmed more layoffs. Title of the article. Uh, there is a round of layoffs that are ongoing. Uh, company officials didn't provide any more details than that in terms of the scale, but I know how many and I understand um, the scale of it is pretty, it's pretty wild how much, how much it is. The quote here from a DISH representative, quote, like most businesses, we continually evaluate and make adjustments to ensure we're set up for long-term success. We made the difficult decision to part ways with some team members due to changing business demands on some teams. Impacted employees will be notified by the end of the week. A warn notice has been filed with the Colorado Department of Labor and both the Englewood and Littleton Mayor offices. This goes to show you guys how big of scale this is. All right, so I know, and I think, I guess it's uh, cited here. Uh, Dano put that in there. It's 20% of Dish's workforce. Let me, let me be clear on what this means. It's 20% of Dish's total workforce. This includes all departments. This includes Dish TV. This includes satellite TV streaming services. This includes wireless. This includes prepaid, postpaid. It doesn't matter. They're touching every element of the business. Reducing headcount by one fifth. That's what my contacts have let me know. I mean, I think the VIP sales team has been completely eliminated, right? So we've even seen that. Dish's headcount at the end of 2020 was at 13,500. 16,000 in 2019. So just over the course of the pandemic, they had reduced their headcount by thousands. And with quarter over quarter, year over year, losing business, decreasing and slowing revenues, margins compromised you know it, it's just really bad folks it's really bad i don't predict bankruptcies i just look at the business their inability to compete properly run a business like with respect to wireless we know how bad that retail situation has been uh compromised systems ransomware how they handled that was a train wreck with their customers how they treat their dealers and all that look it is true. Uh, they were dealt a, a really tough hand, but nobody told them to sit on Spectrum for like a decade, right? They, they had been buying assets, not even attempting to build a network, even when they had free cash flow from their businesses, Echo Star, HughesNet, Dish Satellite TV. They weren't investing it into the future of the company. They were just buying Spectrum because they were, you know, Charlie Ergen thinks it's an appreciating asset, which it is. But what are you going to do with it? Just sell it, then what? We're hoping to get consumed. Who wants to buy a company that's facing bankruptcy and has accrued debt and has a hard time raising capital? I mean, they're selling assets to get capital as we speak. You know, we talked about the Caribbean situation, right? And the sale to Liberty and all those things. It's bad, folks. It's bad. So I'm not going to sit here and candy coat it and tell you everything's going to be fine. It's not. Everything is not going to be fine. I'll be honest with you. The folks that are employed at DISH, be at attention. 
Even if you're not laid off now, what, what sign do you see? What signal that things will get better? Look at the trajectory. Look at the trends. Be ready, folks. This is going to get bad. This is not the worst we're going to see at a dish. I'm not projecting. I'm not predicting. This is trends. I'm not hoping for the downfall of dish. Nobody has been more pro dish in all of this, uh, you know, cellular YouTube space than me. And I've had to backtrack on those positions because of what I've been seeing. I'm a realist. I don't live in La La Land. I don't live on Fantasy Island. I'm not delusional. It's bad, folks. It is very bad. Sound off in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you guys think of all of these developments. If you guys need me, you can find me in the comment section or I'll be wrestling with my little kiddos. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.